On Tuesday afternoon, September 16, 1777, five days after the Battle of Brandywine, George Washington and most of his 11,000 member Continental Army stood atop the South Valley Hills in Chester County, Pennsylvania. This is where we are right now. Ill prepared to repel the approach of 14,000 British, Hessians, and Loyalists composing Sir William Howe's Crown Forces. Aside from skirmishes on the flanks, a fierce natural event turned this into the grand battle that never happened. It is referred today as either the Battle of the Clouds, Battle of Goshen, Battle of White Horse Tavern, as well as the Battle of Warren Tavern. Now, Howe's first written words of these five days provides evidence that his failed gamble on September 15th and subsequent fruitless pursuit of George Washington was injurious to him. Washington's uncanny ability to escape Howe's clutches made him more than a thorn in British side. As the 535 casualties inflicted by Washington's surprise attacked at Germantown on October 4th. Six days after the bloodshed at Germantown, General Howe chronicled the campaign nearly daily from the head of Elk through the October 4th battle and submitted the report to Parliament. He wrote nothing about September 15th, the day he clearly chose to prioritize the destruction of Washington's army over the capture of Philadelphia. Howe's entry for September 16th changed the actual history of the campaign to make it appear everything he learned about Washington's whereabouts occurred while already advancing to Swedes Ford. 